Hey guys, Windows 8 TM Hacks here, and I just wanted to update you on Windows 8.1. Um, currently, there is uh, another leak, which is 9,385. 9, um, this has been out for about a week now, um, and it is apparently it's the Pro Preview, well, with the key that I used. But personally, I don't think it is. Um, I'll tell you more about that later. And um, I do have a video on how to activate it if you're going to be using it as well as me, uh, as well as I am. And yeah. Um, there's going to be some new exciting um, things happening with Windows, uh, Windows 8.1. They're going to be having another add-on, such as Windows Media Center they have currently. They're going to add the Start button, which I think uh, is smart of Microsoft to do that right now, because the majority of laptops and desktop computers, they don't have touchscreen, which clearly Windows 8 was designed for. And uh, another thing is the um, they're gonna have a preview of Windows 8.1 on June 26th, which is going to be uh, during the time of the uh, build the def build developer conference in San Francisco, and it's gonna be available for both the current Windows 8 and Windows 8 RT versions. Um, so the other users that have the Windows RT surface, um, they're more than likely going to be able to have Windows 8.1 on there as well. Uh, and yeah, um, there's going to be a link in the description for this current version of Windows 8.1, and yeah, just... As you see, they made quite a few changes in the um, modern PC settings. If you go into home, well, that's just not working right now. If you go to screen, you can change the uh, screen when it goes off the display. You can change the resolution. Uh, users, manage all your stuff there. Um, they have SkyDrive now. Um, personally, I don't think I'm going to be using this because they have the app in the user interface. And you can control apps, which I think is pretty nice that they're putting quiet hours in the settings and the app sizes. You can see what's there and you could change the default which you couldn't previously um, which is nice and you have the uh, networks I don't know why they would put copy but whatever <laughs> and you can go to workspace this is for co uh, businesses basically I would find they have the most use for and switch to uh, Windows 8 version I think that's gonna that's gonna go make it go back to 9200 instead of the current 9800 and 9385 And yeah, um, and the reason why I don't think this is going to be the official pro preview is because I've been having some difficulties in it, um, which there were difficulties in the Windows 8, I think it was the release preview, or no, it was the developer preview. Um, there was quite a few issues with it, but um, currently with this one, I'm not having the same issues, but um, I'm having issues installing AVG 2013 Internet Security. It keeps on crashing, um, like the whole system, 
and a few times the file explorer has crashed on me when I was searching things in the modern interface. But um, I'll try and keep you guys updated uh, on the with the latest leaks and uh, latest how to activate the windows and the link for the the current build for the Windows 8.1 Pro preview the evaluation copy is going to be in the description along with the um, with a link going to another YouTube video that I have um, on how to activate it so then you can fully personalize Windows 8.1 um, now another thing is there's only the 32 bit of this leak um, of this leak and yeah I don't see they're gonna I don't think they're gonna release a 64 bit version but um, we'll see in the coming weeks and they are gonna be updating um, some things <coughs> um, about Windows 8.1 so yeah keep an eye out and that's everything for this video I suppose um, this has been brought to you by Windows 8 TM Hacks like the video I really appreciate it and um, comment on uh, what you think of this latest build if you download it and activate it and have it running um, I try to install this on my Surface Pro like I did with my other video but it's not accepting the 32-bit operating system it only runs 64-bit and um, subscribe if you want to see more content like this